G'day, this is uh, Syncretia. I'm just going to talk about analog signal flow. Uh, I'm just uh, filming this with my iPhone at the moment, so it's quite hard to get a good picture. It might be a bit shaky. Uh, I'm doing that so I can so show you how all the different things are connected up. Going to start here with Ableton, uh, because some of the uh, stuff that we were talking about in the course is uh, would have started with the actual instrument, because they actually create the sound, but in the case of recording an analog instrument, uh, an analog synthesizer, what we first need to do is actually send a MIDI signal, which is a digital signal, out of our computer at and out of the audio interface and into uh, via, via a MIDI to CV converter into the analog synthesizer. So we'll start with this. This, this is an, a device inside Ableton called the external instrument. And that sends a MIDI signal out of the audio interface and then accepts an audio, analog audio signal, in back in through the uh, audio interface. So I'll show you how that, that's going to work. Um, I'll show you here, this is my audio interface. You can see here, uh, there's an analog audio in there. But at the back, it's quite hard to see, uh, there's a MIDI cable coming out of there. And that MIDI cable then goes off to this box here. This is the MIDI ca cable right here, which as I said is a digital cable. And this is called a MIDI to CV converter. It's a Kenton Pro Solo. It takes a digital signal and then sends out two different audio signals. Uh, one, one is called CV and the other one is called Gate. Now, they send a signal to the actual analog synthesizer, so this, this is the analog synthesizer here. It's a Yamaha CS10, it's an old synthesizer, I think it's from 81. And that takes in the two signals that we got from the MIDI to CV. So these are not digital signals, these are voltages that are coming in from the um, CV. Now, the MIDI to CV converter. Now CV is, stands for control voltage. So that controls the pitch of the os oscillator. The other one is the gate and that essentially tells the synthesizer when to play a note and when not to play a note. So it basically revolves around the note being pressed down or the note being taken off. So then, then that control voltage is routed to the actual oscillators so you can actually see a representation of the uh, oscillators here so we have a square wave and a sawtooth and they're mixed together at the moment I have both of them turned on All right. and then that gets routed on to the filter so here we have an LFO an LFO and we have the cutoff frequency and the resonance of the uh, the filter, and we have some. Uh, it's a little bit different to a normal ADSR, but an envelope generator there, and then that goes on to the amplifier, which is the amplifier here. So we have again we have an actual ADSR here, which is an envelope, and that's also modified by the LFO. Okay, and then we have the audio signal that comes out of the back here. So there's there's the audio signal which comes back up to the audio interface again. So the audio interface is sending out a digital MIDI signal and then receiving an analog signal. And now as you can see down here in the external instrument uh, you can see, although it's not very clear, you can see that it's going to accept audio from this this input here. All right, so if I hit the space bar you know, in Ableton, I'll bring up, I'll show you this is my MIDI clip before I turn it on. This is a, a clip that I uh, put together inside Ableton. So that's digital information and that is what is being sent over the MIDI cable to the synthesizer or via the, the MIDI to CV device anyway. So I'll press Press play. Now at the same time, I can play with the 
controls on the synthesizer to change change the signal. So I can turn the filter up or down. Can I add resonance? Add a bit of LFO in. I can uh, change the envelope of the amplifier. I can uh, LFO the actual amp. And then that, that signal gets converted to digital at this point in the audio interface and sent back into Ableton. So then we can see in Ableton, I can then process the signal digitally with a reverb. And I've got a send here. which further processes the signal, or sends part of the signal off to a different bus, and uh, that's where we get the delay from. Thank you.